We know about 20% of people will have a depressive episode at some point in their life. And once you have a depressive episode, then you're at 80% risk of having another one. So, so we're going to have you come this way. Okay. Thanks so much for coming in today. Yeah, no problem. We don't really know about a lot of the specific mechanisms that put people at risk. And so one of the things that we're just starting to learn is the way people pay attention to emotional information in their life can put them at risk for depression. What you're looking at on our screen. To examine this, we brought in um, about 160 women. About half of them had a past history of depression, and then the other half had no history of depression in their lifetime. So we brought them into our laboratory and basically told them they're going to play a little computer game. Two faces come up on the screen. One is an emotional face, and one is just a, a neutral, expressionless face. And we have an eye tracker that can tell where someone's looking at on the computer screen. And so we use that tool as a mechanism to examine attention. So what we found just at the beginning is that women with a past history of depression are more likely to look at angry faces than women with no history of depression. All right, so it looks like you're all done. Thank you so much for doing this. But I think the most important part of this research is that the women who had that past history of depression who were looking more at angry faces were more likely to become depressed over the two-year follow-up and they had the quickest onset of depression. This is the first study to show that how you pay attention to things in your life actually predicts a new episode of depression. So that's a really important first step. And the next step is then to create these treatments to change how people pay attention to emotional information in their life.